Hi everyone, Articulate JP here back with another figure review and for today I have here for you the once again another San Diego Comic Con exclusive and this time around I have the Mezcal 112 collection and it is Captain America. As you can see here, San Diego Comic Con exclusive sticker. It's a uh, tin, tin box. Um, also uh, it's Captain America shield of course um, and here is the side and just sticker in the back um, All right, let's go ahead and open them up All right, so um Very quickly. I wanted to show you guys what's inside the tin box here um, when you open it so let's open it right here and there is Captain America It's a holographic kind of cardish um, let me see if I could change it here or if it was shown camera, but it's supposed to be him being thin and lanky and because of the super soldier serum, he becomes buff and like super like tall. There you go. So that's, that's that for for this thin box and looks like let's go ahead and take off the whole thing here. So that side and there is a tape. Um, I'm having let's see if I could get something here. But um that's it for now. Um I'm gonna go ahead and Take off these tapes and show you guys the, uh, the figure. Alright. Alright guys, so here is Captain America out of the box. Um, as you can see, these are the accessories he comes with. Um, he also comes with a stand. Um, so let's talk about that right now. So you see, you see him standing on a stand right now. Um, just like Batman, it's a little small peg right here. Um, and just one and in order for you to take this out to switch it into this bigger piece to hold them uh, just go in the bottom and gently push it and it's a clear small piece right there set that aside and lose that um, <clears throat> excuse me so just take it right there and that's it oops so that's it for that piece um, and they also g give you a, a ziplock bag for your accessories so you could keep them in there so cap comes with a lot of alternative hands here uh, to a pair of what it looks like he he's throwing a shield um, this one's an open semi open palm hands and something to grip the knife with let me see here is the knife that it comes with uh, it's Let's see if I can focus there. It's metallic paint and a blade. And just it's plain black. The hilt. So either left or right you could hold this knife. Uh, and the grip's pretty good. It's not that it's not loose. Um what else? Um and this hand for exclusively for the uh right hand and thumbs up for the left hand and pointy hand for the right so let's set aside the hands and for default the fist hands um oh alternative head unmasked head uh nicely painted 
the eyes are not um, weird looking. Uh, the sculpt's great. Um, color is good. Paint app's good. And he also comes with, let's talk about the extra pouch here. So he comes with a pouch and two clip-on grenades. Trying to focus the camera. It's really tiny. <clears throat> Excuse me again. So you get two of those. And what you could do with them is that right here in his belt, um, there's a flask or a canteen here. You could take it out. It's just a peg. And you could switch it with the pouch. Right. There's a hole in there. And right there. It just sticks right there. And for the grenade, this part right here, it just clips right here on this side. Oops. So, as you can see, you could just clip it on there. It's, it's a little bit tricky, but it does hold it pretty good. Takes a little bit of time and practice, but yeah, he could hold it in his back. I'm just going to take this out before it falls because I'm not doing it properly. But um, to switch ahead, just kind of pop, it pops right off. Just like that, but I like the mask head better. And for the harness right here, you kind of just to put it in, you kind of just put both of his arm back and slip it right on there. Just like so. There, for the easiest way to put the harness in his back. Um, also, the shield. Um, the shield right here, these gloves that he has on, like both of them, are magnetic. So they're, the shield right here, look. <clears throat> this part right here is a magnet. Um, the shield is just, you know, great paint job. I mean, no smudges or anything. Um, pretty cool. Uh, it comes with a handle there too. Can put it in his hand, but it's magnetic, so it just right there, just slips right there. And it's pretty good grip too. Um, that's pretty cool. Also, um, the harness here in the back as well. Um, you could also it's magnetized as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, Apologize for that noise. There's an ambulance coming right now down the street, so you guys are gonna hear that. I apologize for that. Um, anyway, um, the cloth material it's pretty good. Um, I like it. This the the belt's pretty cool. Um, even the detail on his armor. I mean, oops, <clears throat> that was my fault. Let's see if I could just the detail on his armor is pretty awesome, man. But um, sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to kind of gonna be just a little bit careful trying to pose them, especially when you have to move the arms and anything that there's cloth because you know it might rip and I'm scared of that like maybe in the seams right here and stuff. So but that's about it. Um, great paint detail, especially in the boots as well. I mean you can see. His pouches. Um, overall, um, a really great figure for me. And uh, the tin box is also cool. The the <clears throat> the card that comes with it. It's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, the magnetic stuff. Plus, um, if you 
if you do have it, you know how awesome he is. Um, I think it's it's a pretty well made Captain America, and I love that it's the classic costume as well. So uh, his scale, he scale is pretty good with the Legends as well. Uh, let me see if I have here, of course, uh, Deadpool. So let me just straighten him up a little bit. Let's see if I could uh, put him up here. So this is the scale for uh, Legends. So you could see they're about, uh, I'd say about pretty much the same height. Um, I don't have in hand Iron Man with me, but I do have Spidey here. So there's a Marvel Legends Spidey. Alright guys, um, that's it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos, um, liking it and subscribing. I appreciate that. Um, if you want to see more of this guy, I take photos of him uh, and my action figure collection on my Instagram, Articulated JP. Uh, you're more than welcome to follow that too. Um, once again, thank you very much. Articulated JP out.